Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I want to talk to you about not getting duped by a Crawl Space waterproofer. Uh, about a year ago, we had one of our sales ninjas go out and check out a Crawl Space that a competitor had done, and man, was it horrible. Stay tuned and I'll share with you a picture of what it looked like and how much they charged, and you don't want this happening to you. Just want to say I appreciate all of you watching our channel. If you haven't had a chance to get our book yet, this is still available on Amazon. It's uh, been a bestseller for a few weeks. And uh, if you're looking to fix your own crawl space or perhaps hire a contractor, some great information for you. We also hope you'll subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. So take a look at this picture of this crawl space right here. This is ridiculous how horrible this job is now to put this in perspective uh like i said one of our inspectors got called out by the homeowner because they had paid a contractor a very well-known contractor in our area to go out and fix their crawl space because they had a standing water problem now as you can see the pipe that they used obviously is an nds easy flow pipe i got no problem with that we've installed many many hundreds of yards of nds easy flow pipe but the pipe is supposed to be buried into the soil so that it can capture water as it comes through the, uh, the foundation wall or the footer drain or perhaps uh, rise from the water table below, okay? So the pipe is just sitting on the bare dirt. They left obviously the vapor barrier. It's kind of covered in mud and all that. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's right next to the brick pillar. You can see that vapor barrier was left behind and this job cost them $5,400 uh, for this installation to be done. And I'm sure they thought they were getting a deal and man, did they ever get a deal. So a couple things about waterproofing your crawl space properly. All right, as I mentioned, you wanna make sure that you bury the pipe. It leads to a sump pump in a sump pump pit. Make sure it's protected and all that sort of thing. And you wanna put a vapor barrier over this all right now i recently released 15 mistakes uh when when waterproofing your crawl space i'll put a link to that down below but i just wanted to share this video with you all if you're getting a bid on your crawl space for a few thousand dollars and it's way cheaper than everybody else you might be getting duped so make sure that you have the contractor take pictures make sure the expectation is set correctly of what they are planning on doing for you and uh, make sure they show you pictures, make sure they test the water management system to ensure that water is actually going into the sump pump and being discharged properly. So hope this video helps you out and we hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.